awesome. I usually got in only like one. Wait, is it my first tank top? I think honestly that this is going to be my first tank top and I can put it on dude dude we've just gotten my first ever tank top looks like new I mean it is actually kind of new you know as you guys it is me happy Sarek, and welcome to Sarek tries to find the fat dot for the millionth time so a lot of you are saying that you found the fat dot like 10 times already that you're fighting him like 10 times a day and I am super unlucky and I still haven't found him even once so hopefully today is gonna be the right day and I'll finally be able to get him and I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here uh, some of you told me that the fat dot is just outside you don't have to come inside of this bunker in order to find that fat dot, but I haven't found him outside, so if this is gonna be the raider. This is another raider! That's it, guys! There's no more fat dot! That's it, that's it! I can forget the fat dot once again, because you told me if there is going to be a raider, there is no way you'll be able to find the fat dot, and that's what I've gotten here again. The game seriously doesn't want me to get that fat dot, and you know what? I'm thinking here right now, what is going on? What's happening? Why I'm not getting this fat dot, and it's probably because you haven't smashed the like button on the video, so smash the like button on the video if you want me to find the fat dot <laughs> i'm going crazy i do need to find that fat dot also for those who do not know there are a couple of new tasks here now they have released and they have like unlocked those daily tasks so you need to earn like 30 teeth visit that eight box location and do a thousand damage with closed in weapons so that's what we're going to be trying to do today at least finish that one task and once again thank you for all the likes because as i said your likes guys do support the video so it's very nice to see your positive comments and all of your support on the video so thank you once again and i'm actually really interested have you gotten the fat dot yourself because i don't think that I'm the only one who still haven't seen him again. I can't say that I'm doing this event like twice a day or something, but I still haven't seen the Fat Todd. So I would almost be certain that you can get Fat Todd only on the second day event. Like you're getting these old mine events twice a day and probably you're going to get the Fat Todd only on the second event during the day because I'm just doing these first events that I'm getting and I've never done that second event that spawns during the day. So maybe that's where you're getting that Fat Todd, but it's just sad. Hopefully I'll be able to get him because from that Fat Todd, I think we're gonna get like 20 points or something if I'm not mistaken because yes indeed where we're going over here There is that premium task and I'm I'm gonna get 30 points if I'll finish that task So and I said this already But I do want to repeat that in every video because a lot of people don't understand how to treat the blood here So what you have to do with the blood is to save as much blood as possible and after you're gonna collect like 330 blood You will be able to go and fight those zombies -zom at the Nick Santis event And then after you're gonna do like 30 levels in that Nick Santis event because this is the amount of blood you'll need like 330 blood you'll be able to get like around probably 900 teeth so that will be the most efficient way to do it so you either do like only level one two and three and that's it then you quit it or you wait until you're gonna do 30 levels because doing like 10 levels is super not efficient you're wasting a lot of blood so that's pretty much it this is how you're supposed to be doing that event and also i've heard rumors that on week two and in week three you're going to be able to get even more blood that you're getting right now so don't worry about if you cannot get enough blood in the first week and i've just finished the task is this the simple task yes indeed guys do thousand damage so also probably today we're going to go to that nick santis event just to be able to get like those 30 teeth from lucy luck i think we'll have to kill her a couple of times and uh yeah, and I think I mentioned that already like long long ago when I started just doing the dungeons But this wall says we will survive so for those who haven't seen this little thingy then hey now You're gonna be able to see that we will survive in this bunker <laughs> You know what's the, the funniest part that it says we will survive and there's just a lot of bottles lying over there I think they really had a great time in this bunker considering how many empty bottles there are But Zerk is just water of course it's just water of course it's just water So just literally for no reason we're gonna blast this event with my M16 and I'm gonna take here an Uzi and I just want to show you how Uzi looks, how Uzi works really, really great on this Hunter. Look at that, the Hunter just melted way faster than just using a melee weapon. Like, who would have thought using guns is better than melee weapons? You can learn this information only here, only right now on Happy Sarek's channel, so smash the subscribe button! This is something different, not the like button, because I assume that you've already smashed the like button, so smash the subscribe button and you won't miss any of these amazing tips here. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. <laughs> okay, so let's take couple of here melee weapons let's finish here this old mine event completely and i think in the previous last day on earth survival video i have said that we're gonna go for a raid but i did not have totally enough time to go for a raid but today i think we're gonna go for sure to a raid maybe even after this old mine event i already have finished all the tasks there with the raiders all i have to do is just spawn that base and maybe today we're gonna get a pretty good base because i haven't raided for quite some time maybe for a couple of good good weeks and who knows maybe we're gonna get a really epic base with lots of and lots of 
of healing items and lots of and lots of weapons. Okay, let's deal with one survivor. Let's take a little bit of blood. Let's deal with this survivor. Let's deal with another survivor. And now we're gonna take this Uzi and we will deal with my man uh, Foreman. Oh no, why this crawler crawled out? This is unfair. I just wanted to use this entire Uzi on my Foreman. Uzi, Uzi is the best, seriously. The Uzi doesn't miss a single bullet, so it's better probably than, M than M16. M16 is great as well, but uh, Uzi is pretty fine as well. And also, I do know that some people do not know what kind of mods I use on my weapons and blah, 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 blah. But I've made already a couple of videos. Maybe there's going to be a video here on the iCard somewhere there. Explaining all the mods in the game. So that is a pretty useful video. And for those who do not know which mods you should use, then I highly suggest you checking it out. And you will learn what mods I'm using, what mods you should craft, and which are the best mods uh, that you can get for your weapons that are not purple mods. So now let's go outside. I think we're going to farm a little bit of those blood samples now. Well, I'm kind of done farming this event. This is the amount of blood that we've gotten. I think it's pretty okay. And also the reason why I want to do these daily tasks now is because I really want to get all of my rewards from the season pass. And I'm assuming that by doing these daily tasks, it will be a lot easier to get all of the rewards because even though these tasks like on week one were pretty easy, but you still don't get there a lot of and a lot of points. And let's say if you're going to be doing these daily tasks, especially if you have the premium pass, you'll be able to get like 20 points every day. And even if you do not have the premium pass, you'll be able to get like 10 free points. And after 10 days, it's already 100 points. That's like already like what, five or like three levels or whatever, depending on how many points you need per each level. So I think those daily tasks are definitely important and you shouldn't miss them. So also some people were saying that, hey, psych, those 3000 points are going to count even if you're going to get that tactical backpack. But the point is when you go here to the week one, exchange 3000 zombie teeth at Carl on Nick Santi's arena. And guys, this is going to be Carl. I just wasted my first aid kit, but you need to exchange those 3000 teeth at Carl. So this is the dude, this is where you have to get like those, this is where you have to spend your 3000 teeth. And after you're gonna spend them, only then you'll be able to start collecting your whatever pink backpack, if you're even going for that pink backpack, or you can just get the pink backpack without doing that task where you have to exchange 3000 teeth. So all I'm just saying is that you will require seriously a lot of and a lot of teeth. So that timer is going to reset right now very great but the daily task says that we have to get from lucy luck as i call her lucky luck so let's try to fight with her here i have a little bit of melee weapons you know what lucy luck let's try to get inside i think my uh yeah my thing is gonna break okay so we're gonna just deal with her like this ain't nobody got time to waste and fight her there with melee weapon okay so let's try to my lucky look lucky look <laughs> lucky look even worse i'm an idiot i'm an idiot Okay, so five more extra teeth. So we already have here 10. I do know that doing probably third level isn't even worth it, but I just want to seriously do it just for the sake of daily tasks, just for the sake of these five points. Hopefully she's not going to jump me. Hopefully she won't spawn any other dudes. And I've already gotten a lot of comments from you saying that level 30 Zamzams here, that these level 30 bosses are going to be incredibly strong. And I kind of believe you. I'm not going to lie. I do believe you with that. So I still have to do like three extra levels that we already have 16 teeth. That's totally not enough. Okay, so let's try to go over there. Let's try to fight her one more time. So here we go, just like that. We're gonna fight her. Wait, what if I, let's say, gotta try to put the teeth over there. Is that gonna work? Let's say if I'm gonna take 21 teeth from her. Did the task somehow, some way finish? Nope, it still says only 22 teeth. I still need eight more. So let's try to go for one more level. This is seriously now just a waste of these teeth. Never do like I'm doing here right now, unless you're finishing your daily tasks. But farming these teeth like this isn't important, isn't good. So we have 26 teeth now, right? 29 for some reason. What does it say that I have 29 when I have only 27? Uh, what the, what? I don't understand. I honestly, guys, don't understand. It clearly says 29 out of 30, but I don't know how to do it. Maybe I have to move them around. Maybe I have to split that up and somehow do whatever other thing. Well, I don't know. We're just going to go, guys, for one more level. I mean... For some reason, it's counting that I've got here more teeth than I actually got in here. Okay, Lucy Luck is going to go to sleep. Task completed. So, okay, so when you kill her, you get, like, what, six teeth probably per kill. So, even if... Yeah, whatever. So, this task is kind of interestingly rigged. I don't know how it was counting. I don't know whatever happened there, but I've gotten my five points. I'm closer to all of my rewards there. I'm closer to getting this uh, awesome hockey underwear. I just want to show it for you because that's going to be the only reason why I'm grinding it here because I'll be able to get here this hockey underwear and I'll be able to get this nuclear as it's called here, radiation backpack. It's basically like a tactical backpack, but it's going to have a little bit of the skin on it and uh, I would love to get it. And you keep repairing the wheel. I'm going to come back tomorrow and hopefully you have repaired the wheel 
real. Good luck, mate. So, well, lucky enough, I just exited that place and we've gotten here an airdrop. So, let's hop inside of the airdrop and I'm gonna get five extra points for the daily pass. So, let's hop here with my chopper. And some people thought that maybe this is like an electrical chopper, but I don't think this is an electrical chopper or whatever. That's why it makes a little bit a different sound. It's like kind of powered by air. It's like kind of a futuristic chopper. This is not an electric chopper. Unless I'm totally mistaken. Why do I know about it? But I mean, it doesn't look like it's electric one. Like the wheels have nothing. It feels like seriously like it's air propelled chopper or whatever. So, I mean, this is what I've gotten here. Eh, I guess that's good. I guess that's good. Could have been probably worse. So after 84 years of sorting out my inventory, we're going to go to a raid. I kind of even forgot how to raid properly. But yeah, I've done a little bit of research on that base that we're going to raid right now. And all I need to use is just two C4s. And we're going to get a couple of chests and zero idea what kind of loot we'll get here. So this is just going to be a surprise for all of us. So here we go. This is the base that we are going to be raiding. And I did not forget, guys, to bring this corn now. Because for those who didn't know, as I said, whenever I raid, I'll try to leave corn in the bases as my mark, and I always forgot about it, but hey, today we're gonna do this, so I do know that we have to place here one C4 over there, and then I'll have to place another C4 on another wall, so just in case for me to not mess it up, I'm gonna place a C4. No, why are you doing this? Am, am I gonna die here? I'm gonna die here. Okay, so at least I did not get locked. It would be cool if I could have just destroyed those Zamzams with that C4, but whatever. Okay, so let's deal now most likely with two waves of Zamzams that have just spawned there. And you know what? Raiding once in a while now is kind of fun because for those who do not know, we've done like seriously a lot of and a lot of raids and raids kind of lost the purpose. But uh, raiding once in a while is pretty fun. I like raids, baby. Let's go. So inside of the first chest, we already are gonna get one M16, one Glock, a Flare Gun. Gun. I mean, we're gonna take that doo-doo here as well. Also, there is a little bit of trash, which I totally don't care. I mean, we shouldn't be bringing trash back to the base. We should be get r getting rid of the trash. So probably we're gonna leave him here, this one corn. So keep it and take care of it as it would be your child. When the dude is gonna come back here, I'm sure he's gonna be super happy about that he got a corn in his base. Okay, so let's try to chop down uh, one more chest. So inside of this chest, we're gonna get a hammer. Definitely gonna pick this hammer up because as I said, I do want, oh no, another wave of zombies. Are you kidding me? So we haven't done the snap transition. I think we're gonna keep that snap transition for the third wave. Who am I kidding? Well, Zamzams are done. And as I said, I still want to go and craft that statue. But for that statue, I need a bunch of a bunch of hammers. So we're going to get those hammers, baby. We're going to craft it. It's still so weird that some people uh, don't want me to craft that statue. But I'm going to craft it regardless because it's awesome. And I want to have that statue. Uh, like some people like, well, Sark, it's useless. And I'm like, really? Is it really useless? So we're, the sculpture, not the statue, right? So we need 20 steel and 20 hammers for it. And 20 of those. I forgot already lead plates. So I'm definitely going to be crafting that statue one day. I still need probably like eight or something hammers and I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get it and we're gonna craft that statue and it's gonna be somewhere in the very epic place and everybody's gonna be looking at it it's like wow so I crafted the statue that's literally the only point why I want to craft it so inside of this chest we're gonna get another shotgun uh, pretty okay another wave of zombies maybe I doubt it we're gonna take all of these items and wait is the wave of zombies gonna spawn if I chop this chest down maybe yes maybe no I doubt it. Okay, so Zamzams did not spawn, so I will not even have to fight a third wave of Zamzams. But I'm going to leave some stuff here in the chopper. We're going to add here a little bit of gasoline and all of the weapons that I've got. And you know what? So far, right, it's pretty okay. Like the 2C4 that I used here is pretty fine. And you know what? In the past, when I was raiding like every day, I really thought that, you know, raids are kind of expensive because you need to get your C4s and blah, blah, blah. But the point is, if you're doing like bunker alpha kind of regularly, and if you're raiding like once a week, you should be able to have enough C4s for a raid even if you have to use double c4 thingy okay so that chest was empty are you kidding me i do know that this room is going to be empty i paid the close visit if i need to use a three c4s here and i think that in this room we're not going to get anything besides like a chopper or something like an atv maybe even i don't know i do know that this room is going to be doo-doo so i'm not going to be exploding it unless i'm mistaken or something but i think i'm not mistaken we're going to take a little bit of batteries and I think that's pretty much it. This is the entire raid. And you know what? It's not that horrible. Could have been worse. This raid gets our approval. It's not that bad. Not super hot raid, but I guess, okay, could have been definitely worse. So we just paid the raiders. Let's try to spin here this dial and let's call these bad boys uh, once again. And let's see what kind of tasks we're going to get. Okay, so these are going to be the tasks. I mean, if Savage Giants, uh, Revenger, Three Pups, 52 Mike, and the Iron Blades. I mean, pretty okay, pretty okay tasks. Besides 
besides that 52 iron mic, don't really like him, but we're gonna find him one day. So as you can see, we have here, guys, 13 hammers, and that is totally not enough. We need seven more, and after that, I'll be able to craft that statue, the sculpture. It will be very epic. I'm still not sure where we can place it, so if you have any ideas, then again, leave them in the comments below. I would like to hear your opinion where we could place that statue, but I think we're just gonna place it somewhere over there with the other decorations that I have here already, or maybe I'll place it somewhere in this room, or maybe we're just gonna build a special room just for that statue. I don't know if you're gonna leave any awesome and original comments, then maybe we're gonna take some of them and we're gonna implement them for that statue. So now, welcome here to police department. We're gonna open up five crates, and at the same time, I did take here a bunch of these cell keys because I realized that I had like 16 of them at my base, and I've never really grinded them, so I mean, today, maybe, will be the day when we'll check it out what we're gonna get inside of those cell keys thingies, because you said if you're gonna open up all of them at the same time, you have a chance of getting, like, steel bar or something or whatever, at least your chances are higher. I've never done that before, so we're gonna see. First of all, let's try to deal with one more here. Hungry Chompa, because he can... Okay, so another cell key. Wait, do they start dropping more cell keys? I have no idea. I mean, before you would usually get only, like, one cell key per, per like, whatever run, but now, you're, but now you're getting more of them, so... I don't know, I don't know. Well, we're gonna get a bit further. We're gonna deal now with this here, Jailbird. And we're gonna open up all of these cell keys. Okay, so one cell key, another cell key, uh, one more over there. Okay, so we'll have to deal with all of these dudes. Wait, so there, there are six of them. How many of them are there? One, two, three, four, five, and six? What? Six cell keys? I thought there are only five. Okay, so let's use my six, uh, sixth cell key. And we'll see what goods we're gonna get. I also never, never, never looted this place. But it has this keep out sign thingy. So maybe inside you're usually gonna get like a grenade as well. But I never looted it. I usually almost never loot it. So uh, just a diary, survivor notes. Yeah, we're gonna pick them up. We're gonna pick them up. Why not? So let's start looting these selkies uh, from this bed. And inside of the first bed, baby, we're gonna get one tank top already. Awesome. I usually got in only like one. Wait, is it my first tank top? I think, honestly, that this is... Is going to be my first tank top and I can put it on dude dude we've just gotten my first ever tank top looks like new I mean it is actually kind of new you know look at the durability that's full durability but I've never gotten a tank top in this account I think that's the truth yeah I think this is the first time when I've gotten a tank top here unless I'm a little bit mistaken maybe I do have one tank top already I don't know I don't want to lie but I do remember that back in the days I could get it on my free to play account but I've never gotten a single tank top here so I'm not sure if I'm just lucky but I mean so far as you can see loot isn't that 10 out of 10 or whatever let's try to use like a loot like probably fifth a bed right now under this bed thousand steel nothing just a canned food and baby last last bed Hopefully hoping for a thousand steel over here and inside just more food. So I mean, it's not that bad It's pretty okay. I would still probably suggest yes indeed saving up those cell keys to open them up all at the same time Maybe it would be useful, but I don't know Okay, so we've exchanged all of the crates and now let's see kind of what loot we've got in there So a machete pretty epic inside of the second crate We're gonna get here a katana and inside of this crate We're gonna get a winchester with a pipe katana with a glock very beautiful and another machete So very beautiful very beautiful green crate opening, just as I always say. So I highly suggest you checking out this video where they built a secret bunker in my base, or click on the second card and you'll see an extremely underrated game. Or hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely be sure to drop the subscribe button and notification bell so not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. <laughs> yup.